Good day, Junior Dickies. I'm Mrs. Brimmerger. We're going to look now at Activity 5. 5.1 consists out of concepts. Choose the correct words given in brackets. Only write the correct word next to the question number in the answer book. Starting with 5.1.1. The cost of sales is calculated at the point of sales in the perpetual stock system. 5.1.2. In the periodic stock system, carriage on goods purchase is an expense of the business. 5.1.3 When the periodic system of stock is used, the only way to determine whether stock has been stolen is to compare the gross profit percentage on cost of sales for this year and last year. 5.1.4 the actual value of stock stolen can be determined when the perpetual stock system control is used. 5.1.5 The perpetual system needs a computerized system. It's expensive, whereas with a periodic inventory system, you do not need a computerized system. So 5.1 basically focused on concepts, theory, Make sure that you study your theory. These are easy marks to get in an exam or in a test. 5.2, the periodic inventory system. You are provided with information relating to smart clothing for the year ended 30 June 2022. The business uses periodic inventory system. They all import goods from China. The business uses a markup percentage of 100% on cost. Required 5.2.1 Calculate the purchases figure that will be closed off to the trading account. 5.2.2 Calculate the sales figures that will be closed off to the trading account. 5.2.3 Complete the trading account. 5.2.4 Calculate the stock turnover rate. 5.2.5, you need to refer to 5.2.4 and comment on the stock turnover rate. Should the owner be concerned, explain by quoting figures. And then 5.2.6, customers go freely into the fitting rooms without any control. Provide one internal control measure that you would implement to prevent theft. Then they provided you with information A, extract from the pre-adjustment trial balance on 30 June 2022, and B, adjustments and additional information, and it says that the following transactions were not yet recorded. So in a test or an exam, make sure that you go through the questions and see what is required of you. What is it that you need to complete? When you approach the question now, don't just focus on the first question, then completing number two, and then going on to complete number three. Do it at the same time. Follow these steps. And what do we start with? We start from the figures from the pre-adjustment trial balance. Remember that you always need to show your calculations in brackets to earn part marks. If your final answer is correct, you get full marks. But as soon as your final answer is wrong and you didn't show any calculations, you lose all the marks. Make sure that you show your calculations. So the first step is looking at the balance sheet account section. The trading stock on the 1st of July 2021. This will always be your opening stock. Your opening stock is closed off to the trading account. Nominal account section, sales, they've asked us to calculate the sales figures. So sales will appear in your trading account, but we first need to calculate it in 5.2.2. So we start by writing the figures and we take it where it's supposed to go. Debtors allowances, debtors allowances is always closed off to the sales Purchases, they've asked us in 5.2.1 to calculate the total purchase. That will be taken to the trading account. So we're going to first 
work out a purchase in 5.2.1. Carriage on purchases, it's an expense for getting the trading stock to us, to the business, which forms part of calculating cost of sales. This will always appear in your trading account. So we're going to start by showing in brackets 105,000. Take note, I don't have enough space to complete it in the trading account, so I'm going to show the calculations underneath. Custom duty, it's an expense to the business in getting the trading stock. It's always closed off to the trading account. Again, I'm going to show the calculation at the bottom of the trading account. Carriage on sales has nothing to do with purchase, nothing to do with sales, nothing to do with the trading account. It's an expense to the business for delivering goods to our customers. So this is your step number one. Again, take note, I didn't just focus first on 5.2.1, then 5.2.2, and then 5.2.3. While I was busy with the figures from the pre-adjustment trial balance, I took it to all the places it needs to go. Now, the next step is completing the adjustments, the additional information. The first one, goods were imported from China. The cost of the goods in Chinese yuan is 3,800. The exchange rate is 2 rand 50 to the Chinese on. Custom duty is 14% of the purchase price, while the cost of transporting the goods to the shop amounted to 2600 So the first thing that we need to do is find out, but how much did it cost us in rands? So we're going to take 3800 times 250, that equals 9500 This must be added to the purchase. But now, custom duty was 14% of the total purchase price, which means we need to take 9,500 times 14%, and this must be added to our custom duty. And the last part of this transaction was the transporting of the goods, which was equal to 2,600. This must be added to your carriage on purchases plus 2,600. The next adjustment. A water pipe burst in the storeroom. Stock to the value of 55,300 were damaged. The insurance company agreed to cover the total loss. So what's happening here is that we lost stock due to a water pipe that burst. The insurance company did say that they're going to pay out that money. So if we lost trading stock, it means that in a perpetual or continuous inventory system, trading stock would have been credited with the original cost of the stock which we've lost. But now in a periodic inventory system, we do not have trading stock where we're going to indicate it. Trading stock is now being replaced by the purchase account which means that the purchase account must be minus 55,300. Next one, old stock was sold at the reduced price before the arrival of new stock. The stock was sold 10% below the cost at 4,800. So the cost was 4,800 and we sold it at 10% below that, which means that we sold it for 4,320. So you have to take 4,800 times 90%. The cost is equal to 100. If we sold it for 10% less, we sold it at 90%. Then we've got packing materials 850 was recorded in the purchase column in the creditor's journal by mistake and posted as such. Correct the error. This means that we've incorrectly added it to the purchase account. To correct that, we need to take it out, which means we need to minus it 
with 850 so that the correct account, which is packing materials, can be debited. We were not required to complete that. We only required to complete the purchase, the trading account, and calculating the sales. So it's important, minus 850, because we've incorrectly added it to the purchase. Carriage on purchases prepaid for merchandise, which will only be delivered during July 2022, 1,716. So July 2022 is outside of our counting period. So we've paid for this in advance. So it won't form part of our expense for this accounting period, which means we need to minus 1,760 from the carriage on purchases. The next adjustment. The physical stock take on the 30 June 2022 revealed inventory of 110,000. So whatever is left over, what we physically counted will be our closing stock. And closing stock is always closed off to the trading account. But now, before we're going to complete that, if you look at the next adjustment, the last adjustment, a debtor returned goods on 30 June 2022 with a selling price of 3,900 and a cost price of 1,950. At this stage, the physical stock take had already been done. The returned items were put back in the storeroom. This means that we need to add that to the cost of the physical stock take, which we've done. In our trading account, we're going to have closing stock, 110,000 as per physical stock take, but now we need to add the cost, 1,950 of the stock which was returned after the physical stock take had taken place. We also need to adjust sales. Stock was returned, the customer owes us less money. Debtors control would be credited, debtors allowances debited, which means our expense will increase. But debtors allowances is always closed off to the sales account. That's why my sales is going to decrease with 3,900. Now that we've done all the adjustments, we can start with 5.2.1 by calculating the total purchase. Make sure that you take the same amount that you've calculated in 5.2.1 to the trading account. Sales, 5.2.2. The total sales must be taken to the trading account. And now we can close the rest of the brackets. To calculate my carriage on purchase, it's the amount from the pre-adjustment trial balance plus minus equals. And the same as with custom duty. From the pre-adjustment trial balance, we needed to add 1,350. So this is the total expense on custom duties. My total closing stock, 110,000 plus 1,950. Once we're done with that, we can add the credit side minus the debit side. This equals the gross profit which is closed off to the profit and loss account. Question 5.2.4. Calculate the stock turnover rate. So to calculate the stock turnover rate, we need our cost of sales and we need our average stock. So we've got our average stock. We've got the opening stock and we've got the closing stock. What we don't have is the cost of sales. So how do we calculate the cost of sales? There's two options. One, because they've asked us the trading account from here, we can just take the sales minus the gross profit. That equals my cost of sales. Option number two, if you take your opening stock plus purchases plus carriage on purchases plus custom duty minus your closing stock, it equals exactly the same answer. Once we've got our cost of sales, we can take our cost of sales divided by our average 
inventory, which is the opening stock, plus the closing stock, your answer should be in times. Stock turnover rate means how many times do we turn over our stock. Question 5.2.5. Refer to question 5.2.4, which we've calculated the stock turnover rate. Comment on the stock turnover rate. Should the owner be concerned? Explain by quoting figures. So this is very important that you quote to figures. Make sure that you use the answers that you've calculated in the previous questions and comment on that. So if we look at the stock turnover rate, it's 7,6 times. Now remember that we are selling clothes. So if you think about that, there's four seasons a year, we should at least be turning our stock over every three months. That's how long we should keep it. So we should be turning it over at least four times a year. So 7,6 isn't that great if you think about it. So the owner should be concerned as it appears that the stock is not selling quick enough. The stock turnover rate is 7,6 times, which means the business stock holding period is 48 days. If you take 365 days divided by 7,6, that equals 48 days. Or you could have used your financial indicator by taking your average inventory divided by the cost of sales times 365 days. That will give you the stock holding period. This may be too long considering that there are four seasons a year. The business was forced to sell stock below the cost due to poor seasonal sales. One of the adjustments was we sold it for 10% below the cost. Holding stock for long period might, may tie up working capital and stock is not selling fast enough and is not generating profits. Holding excess stock may result in loss due to damage, theft, it will become out of fashion. So the owner should be concerned about this. Again, make sure that you quote figures. Question 5.2.6 is internal control. Customers go freely into the fitting rooms without any control. Provide one internal control measure, measure you would implement to prevent theft. So we can look at a point, a person at the fitting rooms to control the number of clothing taken in and number taken by customers. Appoint a security person at the entrance. Put security tags on the clothing which will set off an alarm at the entrance. So these are all possibilities, things that we can implement to make sure that the stock does not go missing. Thank you very much. Next, we're going to look at activity six. I want to leave you with this quote. It always seems impossible until it is done. Have a wonderful day.